The Arian controversy was a series of Christian theological disputes that arose between Arius and Athanasius of Alexandria, two Christian theologians from Alexandria, Egypt. The most important of these controversies concerned the substantial relationship between God the Father and God the Son. The deep divisions created by the disputes were an ironic consequence of Emperor Constantine's efforts to unite Christianity and establish a single, imperially approved version of the faith during his reign. These disagreements divided the Church into two opposing theological factions for over 55 years, from the time before the First Council of Nicaea in 325 until after the First Council of Constantinople in 381. There was no formal resolution or formal schism, though the Trinitarian faction ultimately gained the upper hand in the Imperial Church. Outside the Roman Empire, this faction was not immediately so influential. Arianism continued to be preached inside and outside the Empire for some time without the blessing of the Empire, but eventually it was killed off. The modern Roman Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church, as well as most other modern Christian sects have generally followed the Trinitarian formulation, though each has its own specific theology on the matter. History Beginnings <inaudible> 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 The early history of the controversy must be pieced together from about 35 documents found in various sources. The Trinitarian historian Socrates of Constantinople reports that Arius first became controversial under the Bishop Alexander of Alexandria, when Arius formulated the following syllogism. If the Father begat the Son, he that was begotten had a beginning of existence, and from this it is evident, that there was a time when the Son was not. It therefore necessarily follows, that he had his substance from nothing." Bishop Alexander of Alexandria was criticized for his slow reaction against Arius. Like his predecessor Dionysus, he has been charged with vacillation. The question that Arius raised had been left unsettled two generations previously. Therefore, Alexander allowed the controversy to continue until he felt that it had become dangerous to the peace of the Church. Then he called a council of bishops and sought their advice. Once they decided against Arius, Alexander delayed no longer. He deposed Arius from his office and excommunicated him as well as his supporters. <laughs> First Council of Nicaea 325. Topic. Arianism would not be contained within the Alexandrian diocese. By the time Bishop Alexander finally acted against his recalcitrant presbyter, Arius's doctrine had spread far beyond his own see, it had become a topic of discussion—and disturbance—for the entire Church, the Church was now a powerful force in the Roman world, with Constantine I having legalized it in 313 through the Edict of Milan. The emperor had taken a personal interest in several ecumenical issues, including the Donatist controversy in 316, and he wanted to bring an end to the Arian dispute. To this end, the emperor sent Bishop Hosius of Corduba to investigate and, if possible, resolve the controversy. Hosius was armed with an open letter from the emperor, wherefore let each one of you, showing consideration for the other, listen to the impartial exhortation of your fellow servant. As the debate continued to rage despite Hosius's efforts, Constantine in AD 325 took an unprecedented step. He called an ecumenical council composed of church prelates from all parts of the empire to resolve this issue, possibly at Hosius's recommendation. All secular dioceses of the empire sent one or more representatives to the council, save for Roman Britain. The majority of the bishops came from the east. Pope Sylvester I, himself too aged to attend, sent two priests as his delegates. Arius himself attended the council, but his bishop, Alexander, did not, but instead, he sent his young deacon, Athanasius in place of him. Athanasius would become the champion of the Trinitarian viewpoint ultimately adopted by the council and spend most of his life battling Arianism. Also there were Eusebius of Caesarea and Eusebius of Nicomedia. Before the main conclave convened, Hosius initially met with Alexander and his supporters at Nicomedia. The council would be presided over by the emperor himself, who participated in and even led some of its discussions. Those who upheld the notion that Christ was co eternal and consubstantial with the Father were led by the young archdeacon Athanasius. 
Those who instead insisted that God the Son came after God the Father in time and substance, were led by Arius the Presbyter. For about two months, the two sides argued and debated, with each appealing to Scripture to justify their respective positions. Arius maintained that the Son of God was a creature, made from nothing, and that he was God's first production, before all ages. And he argued that everything else was created through the Son. Thus, said Arius, only the Son was directly created and begotten of God, furthermore, there was a time that he had no existence. He was capable of his own free will, said Arius, and thus were he in the truest sense a son, he must have come after the Father, therefore the time obviously was when he was not, and hence he was a finite being. According to some accounts in the hagiography of Saint Nicholas, debate at the council became so heated that at one point, he slapped Arius in the face. The majority of the bishops at the council ultimately agreed upon a creed, known thereafter as the Nicene Creed formulated at the First Council of Nicaea. It included the word homoousios, meaning consubstantial, or one in essence, which was incompatible with Arius' beliefs. On June 19, 325, council and emperor issued a circular to the churches in and around Alexandria. Arius and two of his unyielding partisans, Theonas and Secundus, were deposed and exiled to Illyricum, while three other supporters Theognis of Nicaea, Eusebius of Nicomedia, and Maris of Chalcedon affixed their signatures solely out of deference to the emperor. However, Constantine soon found reason to suspect the sincerity of these three, for he later included them in the sentence pronounced on Arius. Topic: Ariminum, Seleucia, and Constantinople, 358 to 360. Topic: In 358, the Emperor Constantius II requested two councils: one of the Western bishops at Ariminum, now Rimini in northern Italy, and one of the Eastern bishops at Nicomedia. In 359, the Western Council met at Ariminum. Ursatius of Singidunum and Valens of Mursa declared that the Son was like the Father, according to the Scriptures, following a new Homoian creed drafted at Sirmium 359. Many of the most outspoken supporters of the Creed of Nicaea walked out. The Council, including some supporters of the older creed, adopted the newer creed. After the Council, Pope Liberius condemned the Creed of Ariminum, while his rival, Pope Felix II, supported it. An earthquake struck Nicomedia, killing the Bishop Cecropius of Nicomedia, and in 359 the Eastern Council met at Seleucia Isauria instead. The Council was bitterly divided and procedurally irregular, and the two parties met separately and reached opposing decisions. Basil of Ancyra and his party declared that the son was of similar substance to the father, following a Homoousian creed of Antioch from 341, and deposed the opposing party. Acacius of Caesarea declared that the son was like the father, introducing a new Homoian creed. The son was begotten, generated from God's own substance. Constantius requested a third council, at Constantinople 359, of both the eastern and western bishops, to resolve the split at Seleucia. Acacius now declared that the son was like the father, according to the scriptures. Basil of Ancyra, Eustathius of Sebaste, and their party again declared that the son was of similar substance to the father, as in the majority decision at Seleucia. Maris of Chalcedon, Eudoxius of Antioch, and the deacons Aetius of Antioch and Eunomius of Cyzicus declared that the son was of a dissimilar substance from the father. The Heterousians defeated the Homoousians in an initial debate, but Constantius banished Aetius, after which the council, including Maris and Eudoxius, agreed to the Homoian creed of Ariminum with minor modifications. After the Council of Constantinople, the Homoian bishop Acacius deposed and banished several Homoousian bishops, including Macedonius I of Constantinople, Basil, Eustathius, Eleusius of Cyzicus, Dracontius of Pergamum, Neonas of Seleucia, Sophronius of Pompeiopolis, Elpidius of Satala, and Syria of Jerusalem. At the same time, Acacius also deposed and banished the Anemian deacon Aetius. In 360, Acacius appointed Eudoxius of Antioch to replace Macedonius and Athanasius of Ancyra to replace Basil, as well as Onesimus of Nicomedia to replace Cecropius, who had died in the earthquake at Nicomedia. The controversy in the 360s in 361, Constantius died and Julian became sole Roman emperor. 
Julian demanded the restoration of several pagan temples which Christians had seized or destroyed. According to Philostorgius, pagans killed George of Laodicea, Bishop of Alexandria, allowing Athanasius to reclaim the see. Sides Homoousion <inaudible> 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 The Homoousians taught that the Son is of the same substance as the Father, i.e. both uncreated. The Sabellian form had been condemned as heresy in the 3rd century. The Athanasian form would be declared orthodox at the Council of Constantinople in 383, and has become the basis of most of modern Trinitarianism. Alexander, Bishop of Alexandria 313-326. Hosius, Bishop of Cordoba, minus 359. Eusebius, Bishop of Caesarea, c. 313 to 339. Eustathius, possibly Sabellian, Bishop of Antioch, c. 325 to 330. Cyrus, possibly Sabellian, Bishop of Barrow. Athanasius, Athanasian, Bishop of Alexandria, 326 to 373, later rival of Gregory of Cappadocia and then George of Laodicea. Paul, Bishop of Constantinople 336-351, later rival of Eusebius of Nicomedia and then Macedonius I of Constantinople. Julius, Bishop of Rome 337-352. Asclepius, Bishop of Gaza. Lucius, Bishop of Adrianople, minus 351. Maximus, Bishop of Jerusalem 333-350. Paulinus, Bishop of Treves, who supported Athanasius of Alexandria at Milan. Dionysus, Bishop of Alba, who supported Athanasius of Alexandria at Milan. Eusebius, Bishop of Vercelli 340-371, who supported Athanasius of Alexandria at Milan. Angelius, Novatian, Bishop of Constantinople. Gregory of Nazianus Gregory of Elvira Lucifer, Bishop of Colliery. Hilary, Bishop of Poitiers, c. 353-367. Servatius, Bishop of Tongeren. Topic: <laughs> Marcellus of Ancyra and Photinus of Sirmium. Topic: According to the historian Socrates of Constantinople, Marcellus of Ancyra and Photinus taught that Christ was a mere man. Their opponents associated the teachings of Marcellus of Ancyra and Photinus of Sirmium with those of Sabellius and Paul of Samosata, which had been widely rejected before the controversy. Marcellus, Bishop of Ancyra, minus 336 and c. 343 c. 374 and critic of Asterius. Photinus, Bishop of Sirmium, minus 351 and in exile 351-376, according to Socrates of Constantinople and Sozomen, Photinus was a follower of Marcellus. In 336, a church trial at Constantinople deposed Marcellus and condemned his doctrines. Pope Julius I supported Marcellus and called for his restoration. In 342 or 343, the mostly Western Council of Sardica restored Marcellus, while the mostly Eastern Council of Philippopolis sustained his removal. Under pressure from his co-emperor Constans, Constantius II initially backed the decision of Sardica, but after Constans' death, reversed course. In 351, a church trial at the Council of Sirmium deposed Photinus and condemned his teachings. The Macrostich condemned the teachings of Marcellus and Photinus. Homoousian The Homoousian school taught that the Son is of a similar substance to the Father but not the same. Basil of Ancyra, Bishop of Ancyra 336-360. Macedonius, Macedonian, Bishop of Constantinople, 342 to 346 and 351 to 360. George of Laodicea, Bishop of Alexandria, 356 to 361, rival of Athanasius of Alexandria. 
Eudoxius, Bishop of Germanicia, minus 358, Antioch, 358 to 359, and Constantinople, 360 to 370, who supported the Macrostich. Martyrius, who supported the Macrostich. Macedonius, Bishop of Mopsuestia, who supported the Macrostich. Mark, Bishop of Arethusa, who wrote the Creed of Sirmium of 351. Cyril, Macedonian, Bishop of Jerusalem, 350 to 386. Marathonius, Macedonian, Bishop of Nicomedia, c. 351. Eleusius, Macedonian, Bishop of Cyzicus, c. 351 to 360. Sophronius, Macedonian, Bishop of Pompeiopolis, minus 360. Draconius, Bishop of Pergamum, minus 360. Neonas, Bishop of Seleucia Isauria, minus 360. Elpidius, Bishop of Satala, minus 360. Eustathius, Macedonian, Bishop of Sebastia. Anianus of Antioch. Sabinus, Macedonian Bishop of Heraclea. Topic: Homoian. Topic. The Homoians taught that the Son is similar to the Father, either in all things, or according to the Scriptures, without speaking of substance. Several members of the other schools, such as Hosius of Cordoba and Aetius, also accepted certain Homoian formulae. Ursatius, initially Homoousian, then Homoousian, and later Homoian bishop of Singidunum, who had opposed Athanasius. Valens, initially Homoousian, then Homoousian, and later Homoian bishop of Mursa, who had opposed Athanasius. Germanius. Oxentius died 374, bishop of Milan. Demophilus, bishop of Berea, minus 370, and Constantinople, 370 to 380. Gaius. Acacius, bishop of Caesarea, 340 to 366. Topic: Heterousian. The Heterousians taught that the Son is of a different substance from the Father, i.e., created. Arius had taught this early in the controversy, and Aetius would teach the later Animian form. Arius, presbyter in Alexandria. Theophilus the Indian, who later supported Aetius. Aetius, who founded the Animian tradition, later bishop 361. Theodulus, Animian, Bishop of Cheretapa, c. 363, and Palestine, c. 363, c. 379. Eunomius, Animian, Bishop of Cyzicus, 360 to 361, and exiled Bishop, 361, c. 393. Pymenius, Animian, Bishop of Constantinople, c. 363, at the same time as Eudoxius of Antioch. Candidus, Animian, Bishop of Lydia, c. 363. Arianus, Animian, Bishop of Ionia, c. 363. Florentius, Animian, Bishop of Constantinople, c. 363, at the same time as Eudoxius of Antioch. Thallus, Animian, Bishop of Lesbos, c. 363, at the same time as Eudoxius of Antioch. Euphronius, Animian, Bishop of Galatia, the Black Sea and Cappadocia, c. 363. Julian, Animian, Bishop of Cilicia, c. 363. Cerus, Stephen, and Heliodorus, Animian, Bishops of Egypt, c. 363. Philostorgius, Animian, Historian. Topic: Other critics of the Creed of Nicaea. Topic. Many critics of the Nicene Creed cannot be clearly associated with one school, often due to lack of sources, or due to contradictions between sources. Secundus, Bishop of Ptolemy, who supported Arius at Nicaea. Theonus, Bishop of Marmarica, who supported Arius at Nicaea. Eusebius, Bishop of Berytus, Nicomedia, minus 325 and 328 to 338, and Constantinople, 338 to 341, rival of Paul I of Constantinople, who supported Arius at Nicaea. Theognis, Bishop of Nicaea, who supported Arius at Nicaea. Maris, Bishop of Chalcedon, who supported Arius at Nicaea. 
Eusebius, possibly Homoeusian, possibly Sabellian bishop of Emesa c. 339 or 341. Gregory of Cappadocia, bishop of Alexandria 339 rival of Athanasius of Alexandria. Narcissus, bishop of Neronias. Stephanus, bishop of Antioch 342-344. Leontius, bishop of Antioch 344-358, who also taught Aetius. Patrophilus of Scythopolis. Asterius D. C. 341, who, according to Socrates of Constantinople, considered Jesus as example of the power of God, and according to Philostorgius, defended the Homoeusian tradition. Athanasius of Anazarbus, who taught Aetius. Wolfilla died 383, first bishop of the Goths 341, c. 383, and Bible translator, who agreed to the Homoian formula at Constantinople. Warika and Batwin, Papa and Bylafes respectively, and Gothic martyrs. Oxentius of Durastorum, later Bishop of Milan, Wolfila's adopted son. Palladius, Bishop of Raciaria. Secundianus, Bishop of Singidunum. Unclassified Euzoius, deacon and supporter of Arius, later Homoian bishop of Antioch 361 at the same time as three others. Dorotheus or Theodorus, Homoeusian and later Homoian bishop of Heraclea, minus 378 and Antioch, 378-381, at the same time as three others. Uranius, bishop of Tyre. Onesimus, bishop of Nicomedia 359? Athanasius, Bishop of Ancyra 359, at the same time as Basil of Ancyra. Acacius, Bishop of Tarsus 359, at the same time as Silvanus of Tarsus. Silvanus, Bishop of Tarsus. Hypatius of Cyrus, Bishop of Nicaea, minus 380. Leontius, Bishop of Tripolis. Theodosius, a Bishop of Philadelphia in Lydia. John, Anomian Bishop of Palestine, c. 379. Evagrius, Bishop of Mytilene. Asterius, presbyter in Antioch, possibly the same as an Asterius who supported Acacius at Seleucia. Topic. See also. Topic. Christian views of Jesus. Constantinian shift. History of Christianity. Non-Trinitarianism, Semi-Arianism, Shidduf. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. The Arians of the Fourth Century by John Henry Cardinal Newman. As provided by the Third Millennium Library. This is the version originally referenced in this article. Its pages do not identify bibliographic data. As of December 2016 the third millennium librarycom site was unavailable, and the domain was offered for sale. Note, the links to the archived sub-documents of this archived page do not resolve correctly. Here are the correct archived links. Part 1 Doctrinal Chapter 1 Schools and Parties in and about the Anti-Nicene Church, in their relation to the Arian heresy. Section 1. The Church of Antioch Section 2. The Schools of the Sophists Section 3. The Church of Alexandria Section IV. The Eclectic Sect Section V. Sabellianism Chapter 2. The Teaching of the Anti-Nicene Church in its relation to the Arian heresy. Section I. On the principle of the formation and imposition of creeds Section 2. The scripture doctrine of the Trinity Section 3. The ecclesiastical doctrine of the Trinity Section IV. Variations in the anti-Nicene theological statements Section V. The Arian heresy Part 2. Historical Chapter 3. The Ecumenical Council of Nicaea in the Reign Constantine. Section I. History of the Nicene Council. 
Section 2. Consequences of the Nicene Council Chapter 4. Councils in the reign of Constantius. Section I. The Eusebians Section 2. The Semi-Arians Note, the top-level page of this document mislabels this section as the Athanasians Section 3. The Athanasians Section IV. The Anemians Chapter 5. Councils after the reign of Constantius. Section I. The question of the hypostasis Section 2. The question of the Arianizers Chapter 6. The Councils of Constantinople The Ecumenical Council of Constantinople in the reign of Theodosius As provided by the National Institute for Newman Studies, the author's notes for this third edition identify the following differences, among others. Some additions have been made to the footnotes. A few longer notes, for the most part extracted from other publications of the author, form an appendix. The table of contents, and the chronological table have both been enlarged. A chronology of the Arian controversy Archive, a chronology of the Arian controversy Documents of the early Arian controversy Archive, documents of the early Arian controversy <laughs>